Number nine then from paper two of the 2019 higher maths, an exponential equation you can see from the negative there in the index, it's a decay equation because what you've got here is a nuclear generator producing electrical power according to this formula here. So obviously it decays. Well, what's the first thing it says? Determine the electrical power initially produced. Well, initially means T is equal to zero. Well, if T is equal to zero, then P of zero, which stands for the initial amount, will be 120 e to the, and if that's zero, that's going to be zero, because when you multiply by zero, the answer is zero. And e to the zero, anything to the zero is one, so P naught is going to be 120, and that was watts. So that should be enough to keep a light bulb going. B. Calculate how long it takes electrical power produced to fall by 15%. In other words, you want PT to be 15% less. You want PT to be 0.85 of what it was initially. Oh, just put that in. You don't actually need to work it out. You can just say this. 0.85 of the initial amount will equal 120e to the negative 0.0079t. So in this equation, everything is a number, so that's also a number, apart from t, so you can find that. So those will cancel out, which reduces it to this. e to the negative 0.0079t equals 0.85, which maybe you could have stated straight away. Inverse, 0079t is log base e, the natural logarithm, ln of 0.85, so T will be that divided by this number, 0 0.85, which is a negative number, divided by negative 0 0.079. Now you have to use your calculator. And when you press the buttons, you get 20.572 and so on. Now it doesn't say anything about rounding an answer off, but we know that's in years. So we'll say T equals 20.6 years.